Hey, Alex here, and I'm trying to set a record for how many videos in a row I can open with me drinking coffee. Currently, I think it's, what, four? Four in a row? Um, I'm also filming this video next to a mirror, because I really like this effect. Look at that. It's like I'm, I'm touching my own finger. Sounds weird. Uh, so I wanted to talk about time zones. Um, so right now I'm in, in Bangkok uh, for Dynamite Circle Conference. And if I look tired, it's because I basically have only really gotten like three or four hours of sleep the last two or three nights. Um, and that's because normally I work on Eastern time. Uh, so I have a bunch of client meetings and new business calls and all this stuff uh, on Eastern time. And then I've also had to been go I've been going to the conference during the day. Bangkok is a 12 hour time difference from central time and 11 hours from Eastern. Which means basically when it's nighttime here, it's daytime in, in the U.S. Um, and it's tough. Uh, if you're in uh, like a client-facing role, uh, that's probably the hardest part about, about being a nomad is uh, shifting time zones. Um, and that's something I've been asking every nomad entrepreneur I meet um, how they're solving for it. And uh, I was talking to one guy yesterday who was a, like a coach. Um, for people, which means a lot of like calls and, and talking to them and he couldn't solve it either uh, What he ended up doing instead was hiring a team that's based in the US to actually do the coaching um, And then he's he's uh, You know doing online courses and, and content creation and things that that he can do, you know, regardless of where he is uh, which is a good thing for him uh, but my business involves a lot of like, talking to people um, at whatever time is convenient for them, which I try to push to Eastern time as much as possible. Uh, so that's something I've been kicking around to try to figure out. Um, if you live in a weird time zone or a different time zone from your clients, I'd love to hear what you do, um, especially if you're in a client-facing role, how you deal with the time difference. Do you just shift your time and work at night, um, become a vampire? And if so, how are you, how, how are you uh, hanging out with people, you know? Um, does that ruin your social life? Uh, or have you figured out a way to change your business model where you don't have to do that anymore? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alex Berman, out.